Well, the deployment of Bahamian troops to assist with Haiti's multinational security mission drawing closer. As they prepare, there is, however, the assurance that the safety and security of Defense Force officers is a top priority. Carla Palmer has more. No one other than those in authority know the date and time those 150 members of the Royal Bahamas Defense Force assigned to the multinational security support mission in Haiti will be deployed. And officials for now are intent on keeping it this way. You don't give that kind of detail um, as has been shown when one looks at our other CARICOM nations who are deploying, there's a command center in a safe zone at the airport um, that is responsible for the overall command of the mission. And of course, if you're going to have personnel participating in anything, um, you're not going to want to be disconnected from decision making. What has been detailed is that the 150 team members will be divided into three platoons of 50 persons, with each platoon serving a four-month deployment for a year in the established command center. All Bahamians would be aware that we are the CARICOM country most affected by the unrest in Haiti. Uh, when there is unrest, migrants flow out. When we had occasion to repatriate by our vessels, which I was advised was a less expensive option. You were still looking at an expenditure in the range of $200,000 to, to $300,000. Commodore of the Defense Force, Dr. Raymond King says, those 150 officers chosen will not be going into Haiti's environment blindsided in any way. He says for months they have been preparing, both in knowledge-based and physical training. They were part of a contingent that were trained by the Canadian Armed Forces. And they would have done some work in Jamaica as well. The thing is, safety is paramount um, in those type of operations. The risk of casualty or death is, is quite possible, um, given the environment and the nature of what's going on in Haiti at this time. The government has approved an advanced administrative team of five persons from the Defense Force to travel to Haiti as early as this Friday. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Carla Palmer. Hi there, I'm Corval Pfeiffer. Thank you for watching our YouTube page. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for all things Zedanas.